uh, this past weekend. Uh, funny enough, it actually is uh, Jimenez's birthday. Um, so, you know, maybe we'll uh, wish him a happy birthday after the duel. Get him, get him a couple of birthday spankings if he gets this win. Jimenez was some really tough lately. Uh, Thursday night, beat a ranked opponent, Brent Fleetwood, uh, Central Michigan, in a controlling match. And uh, Jimenez really uh, turned it up here at the end of the season. He's looking to peak at the right time. Garrison White's a senior. He's at 11 and 10 on the season. 45 and 49 in his career. 3 and 5 in Big Ten duels so far this season. Had a tough loss to Tim Lambert of Nebraska, ranked number 10. He's pinning a minute and 27. Before that, had back-to-back -back wins against Illinois and Minnesota. I've seen plenty of ranked opponents this year. Ronnie Rios of Oregon State. Thomas Gilman of Iowa. Plenty of ranked opponents for both of these teams to see throughout the course of the season. As a team, this is the first time that the Badgers get to see an unranked Division I opponent this season. Badgers 3-8 and eight on the year, looking for their third kind one and 12, still looking for their first. Now here in the final conference duel of the season. White, shot attempt. Crowd here in the field house getting behind Jimenez. Both 125ers being pretty aggressive here after the intermission to get things going again in the field house. Getting the crowd involved once more. Oh, and he's gonna. Hit a headlock right on the edge of the mat, and he's going to earn the takedown. Nice job, him and I was using his, uh, White's pressure and uh, perfect timing. Let White's head come up, and he hit that pancake right there on the edge of the mat. So interim head coach Matt Storniolo. I think wondering whether or not he was out of bounds first. There will be no review though. Menez awarded the point. So now back to the center. Jimenez will be on top two to nothing. First points of this 125 match just under a minute to go in the first period. And White will try and cut the deficit in half by picking up an escape. Can't break the hands. Jimenez gonna sit. White back into a crab ride. They're going to call Jimenez for a potentially dangerous call. And he's going to give up a point. So an illegal hold gives White his first point, and now an escape will tie this thing right back up. Jimenez sits White back down. Now near the edge of the circle in front of the Badgers bench. Clock winding down, three, two, one, and no points awarded. White gets the decision. He'll choose bottom to start the second period. White spent most of that first period just trying to get an escape there to tie it up. Ben has got that crawl ride. He's going to bring him back, try to pick up some back points, but White does a good job rolling out of that. White back up to his feet. I think Jimenez pretty soon. Oh, 
He's gonna take him down for a mat return. Jimena is so, so tough with that Blair ride. He's got that wrist, he's gonna run out to the side, you can see. Uh, he works out all the time in practice, and uh, he's pretty tough with it. 90 seconds of riding time now for Jimenez. Jimenez doing a good job being aware of where he's at, staying on the mat, building up that riding time. Five's the smallest guys on this roster, but still a ton of strength, a lot of athleticism and speed. I think that's probably just the biggest difference uh, between the heavyweights and the lightweights is uh, the pace. It's just a lot higher. Jimenez looking for another return, and he's going to get him back down the mat. And he's got that Blair ride again. He's gonna run out to the side, eat that clock up, possibly look for a turn. Mike, for you as a freshman who hasn't gotten to compete in, in conference duels yet, wrestling in the same class though as Jimenez, how do, would you say that your experience right now differs from what Jimenez does each day? Um, well, now that we're kind of winding down, coming to tournament time, uh, we're doing. A, we're focusing a lot on the starters, and uh, so you know, I, I I just do whatever I can to uh, help prepare Johnny and what he needs to work on. Um, um, but at the same time, I push him, uh, you know, the best I can. Actually, uh, it's it's funny. You know, me and Johnny have been wrestling since we were 10 years old, so uh, we know each other's styles pretty well. I know what he does well. He knows what I do well. Um, so I just try to, uh, you know, give him the best look possible for uh, upcoming opponents. Man is now just shy of three minutes of riding time. Sophomore chooses the neutral position. Jim does a nice job of getting that ride out in the second period. White digging that underhook. Jim is trying to create separation. Jimenez is going to pick up another takedown here at the edge of the mat. The white scrambles out of bounds after the takedown. Four to one now. Jimenez extends his slim lead. 133 left. And a win here for Wisconsin will put Northwestern in a very difficult position in the final dual match of the conference season. for Jimenez. White tries to kind of create that scramble. He's back to his feet. Out of, out of bounds once more. Under a minute now. And White's really got to scramble here. If he wants to get Northwestern their first one of the day from the heavyweights back down now to the 125. They started with a 17-2 tech ball victory for Isaac Jordan. Badgers haven't looked back since. Currently lead it 21-0. Now in the first match of the second half of the duel. Johnny can hold on to this one. It'll be a nice birthday gift. And he's going to get one for stalling. Oh. 
Caution on green. Now Garrison White, the senior, jumps the gun a little bit. for a reversal here. And White can't get around to pick up a second point, but he does get awarded an escape. And now in the final five seconds, four to two our score. Another takedown for Johnny Jimenez, and that will really seal the deal. It's a 7-2 finish for the Wisconsin Badgers.